65,000 registered surfboard riders attest to the challenge, speed and thrills of Australia's fastest growing sport. The introduction of the Malibu board in 1956 revolutionised ideas and in a few brief years Australia reached international competitive standards. Now in 1964 Australia is host country for the first world championships. From all corners of the globe comes the greatest array of talent ever gathered for international competition. Heading the judging panel is America's Phil Edwards. The sole overseas lady competitor, Linda Benson, is greeted by Deputy Lord Mayor Noble. Manly Beach is the chosen site for the titles and attracts a world record crowd of 65,000 spectators. In the women's championship, every Australian state is represented. Linda Benson, 20 years old American, of whom great things are expected. Starter Lee Tingle sends the girls away, and here's Linda Benson. Recognised as the world's top female board rider, and winner of the 1963 surfing classic at Magaha Beach. Linda recently appeared in two Hollywood films. Phyllis O'Donnell, 26 years old Queensland representative and a former 10-pin bowling instructress, gains confidence with a point-scoring ride on her first wave. Phyllis is in top form and on the way to her greatest ever performance. Linda Benson and Mike Doyle team up in a tandem riding exhibition. Mike, a science student, is undisputed world tandem champion. And that's not hard to understand. A longer, wider and deeper board is used in tandem riding and there are 11 different competitive routines. Linda and Mike produce a dazzling display of balance and coordination. Semi-final day and the struggle for the final six places is on. French champion Joel de Rosnay fails to qualify in a high-scoring competition. South Africa's Max Wetland, the professional lifeguard, employs the difficult drop turn, but he also fails to qualify. Mike Doyle shows masterly control of the wave and maximum points are awarded. Hawaiian-born Joey Cabell Winner of the last international at Makaha Beach, looking for top value from the way. Midge Farrelly rides with excellent balance and rhythm. A glorious sunny day heralds the final and Mike Doyle is ready to challenge the big two. 27-year-old Joey Cabell and Australia's hope, Midge Farrelly. Three Americans and three Australians make up the final. And there's the starter's gun. Cabell and Farrelly jockeying for positions. Cabell began his surfing career at the age of eight and is the most experienced surfer in the contest. Bob Brown, conqueror of Farrelly in the state titles, at 18 is the youngest finalist. He's on the light side, but heavy with potential. Mike Dooley uses a goofy foot of stats. Changing feet to his orthodox position, Mike kicks the wave along. Cabell trims the board in the tube and gains maximum speed. Six foot two, Mike Doyle issues a strong challenge with this spectacular point scoring ride. Just look at him ride the nose. Jane Farrelly lends moral support to Brother Midge, who is locked in by little John Richards. With coffee book manoeuvres and relaxed style, Midge gains the most from the medium surf. The seven judges have lengthy deliberations to decide trophy winners. Queensland champion Phyllis O'Donnell takes the women's title in an upset victory over Linda Benson. Mitch Farrelly makes it an Australian double, defeating Mike Doyle and Joy Cabell in the closest international contest on record. And here's the world champion, 
19 years old, Mitch Farrelly, displaying the skill that made him king of the boards.